welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we have a wonderful guest with us. Hi, Nick. Hello. I'm Nick, one of the developers at Bywater. Many of you may know him as Kid Clam. <laughs> This week, we've invited Nick to come talk to us about reviewing in your reports if you've deleted any type of borrowers, patrons, or any type of bib records or item records. So many of you, when you get close to the end of your year, you're looking at reports, you want to see how many bibs or items were deleted or how many patrons were deleted. We're going to show you today exactly how to run those reports to look at that information. So I was just going to say, just to explain, um, when you delete something from Koha, it is not deleted as in removed from the database. Um, currently, everything is moved to a deleted table. Um, some of them have names like old, your reserves go into old reserves when they're filled. But for patrons and items and bibliotes, it's all deleted borrowers, deleted biblio and deleted items tables. Perfect. That's awesome. So Nick went ahead and created some reports so we could just look at those and see how they're constructed. And that will give you some guidance on creating your own. Of course, if you're a partner with us, you can 100% ask us for help with these. If I can spell deleted right. Do it really well today. It's Monday, you know, you know how that happens. So let me just pull up this SQL, Nick, that you so nicely mm -hmm. wrote for us. So as you were saying that we have some tables. So this is looking at the table called deleted items. Mm -hmm. So we start there, and that's going to have all the item information. Um, and we're using the timestamp column in that to determine when the item was deleted. Um, generally, that's going to be pretty accurate unless you have had some database cleanups done or something in the updates has touched those deleted items. But generally, that's when it was deleted. Okay. And then we went a, one step further with this report because you know, of course, for deleted items, you can keep your record. You may have just deleted the item attached to the record. So we've included a column that says if the record is still available or if the whole thing, item and record, were deleted. And the important thing just to know is that we're joining to both tables, Biblio and deleted Biblio, and we do left joins, which keep all of our rows. They don't get rid of any of them until the, the end, so we can query both of them to see. Perfect. Um, I love that you added a um, little date picker, so we could go ahead and do, as Jesse's saying, that year-end report. We could look at the entire year. Or if you just want to do a monthly report. Or a monthly report. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So I don't know if I misnamed this present, <laughs> but is it present or is it deleted? So that says that this actual bib record was canceled, but this is the title. There was no author, call number, location, and the barcode for our deleted items. It's a wonderful movie if you haven't seen it. The entire series is delightful. Highly recommend it. <laughs> I have not, actually. I have not. <laughs> okay, and then we also have a deleted patron report. Let's see. Sorry, sorry, going fast. Okay, so what are we doing here? Oh, interesting, this one's different. So fortunately for patrons, this one's a little easier. All of their information is just in that deleted borrowers table. Um, one of the things to note here is that where we do the where, the date updated on between the two dates, um, updated on is the last time that record was touched. Again, it's like the timestamp in yeah. items or deleted bibliotes. Um, but what you notice when you do this, you need to put that little date around it. Um, otherwise, it's a timestamp, so it has hours and minutes and stuff. And when you input your dates, um, if you're not inputting hours, it will kind of cut off at the at start of a day. So we just have to chop those off. That's the only tricky thing about this report. <laughs> Good. Okay. And this is a good structure. So if somebody knows that going ahead, then they mm -hmm. know that that where statement is pretty consistent if you're looking for. Okay. Yeah. Let's do a date range again. So fun. My little date picker. <laughs> and there we go. All right. Perfect. So if you didn't know that this was being stored in Koha, you down know that there are a couple more tables that you may not have known existed. And now we've sh shared with some reports that you can get that data. 
if you do want to make sure that this record, this information goes away after a certain point, um, there is a cleanup job that you can run in Koha and you can specify how long you want to keep this data for. So if you have any data that you say after five years, we don't need to know about or deleted items, we can set that up to remove them for you. Excellent. Okay, Nick, thanks so much. Thanks, Thank Nick. you. Guys. This is great. Thanks. Have a it's great It's always week. an honor to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.